Hello everybody and welcome back. I don't even know if this is a new episode or a continuation of the last one because it's but they're long episodes, but my friend just said that I just messaged everybody. I was like, hi finally got to level five. And blah 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 blah. Um but he just said that you don't need fire wine barrels for this cracked wall. You just need a bludgeoning weapon, which is what Carlac has. <clears throat> Sorry, he was messaging me again. But yeah, he finished the game in a hundred hours. And here I am. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm like that cracked wall in the back. I'm trying to get as many fire barrels as possible. Yourself? Apparently you just need bludgeoning Watching. weapons. You shouldn't have tried me. <gasps> oh, uh, no, the wall is dirty. Did he lie? Oh, force damage, maybe? <laughs> Aww. He lied to me. I'm going to tell him. Oh. Oh, it was hit for bludgeoning damage, but it was hit for zero force damage. Okay. Apparently, yeah, you can. Oh, that's something that is something you can do where you can. I knew you could do this, but you it's resistant to piercing damage, slashing. But it is. Uh, well, then why didn't it take force damage? And it. Oh, it shows me its health now. <gasps> Carla, keep hitting Attention. it. I do wish it would show. Oh, it does. I'm just an idiot. I'm just a moron. It's fine. <laughs> I was like, I wish it would show it on top. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I don't know if I've saved or not. I think I have. I'm saving again. We'll Still have alive. me go in first. So that's progress. Oh, I'm excited. I hope there's something cool. <laughs> I'm actually so angry. I'm so angry. It's just leading into the... It's just leading into the building. Oh wait, there's a trap thing. No, oh that's a chest. Okay, I just couldn't. Let's have a look. I'm actually really disappointed, you guys. <laughs> I was so excited. I wonder if it's worth going over here. I'm gonna have a stare and do this because well, I. Hello. Well, hello. I feel like he would this be way. the best one for this. This is why I have a dexterity person along. Of course, reasonably, I think my, most all of my people could come over here. I could have gotten all up in there without breaking down that wall just by taking this path. I realize sending him out on a journey by himself is maybe not the greatest of ideas, <laughs> but at the time, I didn't think he'd go very far. Your desire. I am going to send him this. I'm curious where that area goes, and only one person can use it anyway. I'm definitely saving, because I don't want to waste such a cool spell. I'm trying to cast it on myself. Okay, go in there now. It's just okay. Let's be quick. Yep. Look at him go though. That's so cute. Okay, not worth it. My friend was very right. The, the these um holes. These crevices and stuff are uh, only leading to other like exist areas other rooms that we can access in other ways so I was curious because it seemed like the the wall was on like an outer wall oh my gosh look at him he looks like he is not personally injured but that he has been through a lot I don't think I can get back to that angle again 
I wonder, so when it says tiny, does that kind of indicate that's like, you'd have to be like a fairy, like a fae fairy. Uh, and small, maybe halflings could go through it. I, I have a halfling, a beautiful one. I think I've maybe shown you guys already. <laughs> um, but I haven't yet gotten the opportunity to like come up to any of these like crevices or anything to see if I can go through them. I'm assuming I can. And maybe someone's already told me so. On the YouTubes. But I, you know, I play the games pretty far ahead of each other. Like, they're pretty far in advance, I guess. This is where Feather Fall comes in handy. I real, I don't know, I think Feather Fall actually made my jump a little bit bigger. And would have yes would have let me get up top again but alas well now I guess there's nothing for it but to loot honestly I am worried that that guy got away the mage I'll guy give I'll give it a shot But sometimes things get out of your hands, you know. I did see this chest back here. Yes, please. Oh, for a skeleton key. Oh, for a skeleton key. Wow, he rolls poorly, but he has all the buffs, so. Beautiful but dangerous silk land. Okay, cool. I don't know where Will took off. Will just took off over to there, and I'm, I'm really not sure why. See, he's back with us now. Okay. What's in here? I wish I could have them all loot individually, and then we could spend less time dilly dallying. Is that the character? It is! It's the character creator screen! I want it. Oh my gosh. You can get the roasted dwarf fruit. Like, oh my gosh. That's horrifying. Improvised drumstick. And it's like... A skull and an arm. Broken loot. I think if you're the guild craft, like the craftsman or the c guild person background, fixing the broken loots and stuff and? are what give you inspiration. If I, whoa. Oh. Does the Starian want that? What now? Oh, he's not proficient with medium armor? <sighs> what do you look like? Oh, that is definitely not something he would wear. Oh, boy. Roasted dwarf belly, roasted dwarf leg, roasted dwarf belly, roasted dwarf wig. The Anthology of Goblin Poetry. Oh, I have to read this. Huh. Is that a poem or no? Okay, we're taking that. Has it been raining this whole time or did the weather change? The weather changed, didn't it? Is that normal or is that because of my actions? Because I have been thinking before that it would be really nice we? if we had day-night cycles. It's failed survival. Let's get Carlac up here. What? 
What kind of what kind of roll did we have to get? Twelve and everybody sucked at it. Including Carlyle, who I think is an out is like a roamer or whatever. Like uh an outlander. I want the witch hat. I don't think I'm gonna put it on anybody, but I might. It's gotta be something to do with this tree. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, there's stuff behind that waterfall. I just saw it. As I was like scrolling over here. There's apparently a whole other set of towers up here. Rotten chicken egg. Don't want that. My friend did say that apparently you can throw rotten stuff at the enemies, and I still haven't done that. I need to try it. I am getting sleepy. I'm a sleepy girl. But I was so excited to get into that, that back wall, and alas, it was not to be. Well, it was, but... Not the way I wanted it to, but we have to go check out the waterfall before we forget the waterfall. All right, these two can't make the jump. Oh, Jumped, I think they. I'm sure. Jumped. Oh, they can. It's just uh, they're just gonna be ouchy. Okay, come along then, boys. Here we go. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Oh. Asterian. Oh. oh my gosh, are you serious? Well, I think he'll at least get the XP for it. Nope, okay, Gale just face planted right into it. Freaking moron. Never mind. Don't mind if I do. Well, hopefully it didn't destroy anything. Keep a blade close. Let's crack it open. Let's crack it open. Nice. <gasps> Whoa! Send that to Carlac. What does it say? Oh, wow. A childish doodle of a goblin presenting a fungal bouquet to a drow adorns this crumpled letter. Dearest, your excellency and most prettiest Minthara, you might not remember me. I ain't nobody important after all, not yet. I was chasing chickens with the lads when you came to visit Boss Ragslin. He looked right at me when you told him that if we was as good at killing humans as we was at plucking poultry, we might be worth a damn. Made me feel proper special to be recognized like, like, like that. Next raid, I'll spill so much blood the absolute will have to notice me. Then I'll come to Moonrise and you'll notice me too. I'm the one with the stumpy leg and the gammy eye. Uh, at best, an optimistic letter. Indeed. Elixir of bloodlust. Okay. Some cool stuff back here. Oh, there is actually stuff in here. Okay, nice. Oh, scrawled notes. Oh my gosh, look at this! Yeah. I keep these, I can't, I, I have to. Okay, well, we finished the goblin camp and we are level 5. Which means I can maybe go deal with those slavers. Not that I remember where that is, I'd have to look it up. And we could go deal with the hag. 
I do feel like Marina is probably dead if this is like if they're trying to be strict. But first, before all that, we need to take a nap. I'm curious if we camp back here if it'll be waterfall themed. Uh, yeah, we need. Yeah, we've done our two rests and we're pretty unhealthy, so. Trying to not do it too often, but I really, this is just like, we are, I don't know, blah, 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 I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm actually really tired. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. You know what? I'm going to say this again. Where would you start? <gasps> um, I'd kiss you for as long as you'd let me. All night. And then some. Gods. We better find a way to call me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. I do kind of feel like it's teasing, and I don't want to do that. Like, With haste. you know? Like, it's not teasing, but, like, it just wouldn't be... She's like, listen here, I'm dying from lack of touch. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Are you still mad at me? Let's see. Where's everybody's... Does everybody love me? I actually... Oh, he has no strong feelings. Oh, Gail really likes me, and Karlak. Our relationship is good with Karlak, but I think she's bound to be ready to sleep with just about anybody because it's been so long and she desperately wants it, right? Like, she wants that intimacy, that that physical touch, you know? Oh, that's right, the robe of summer, code damage. Hmm, looks like nothing new, at least right yet. Just what I need. Oh, he, he's got nighttime wear, too. Speak. Pop. Never mind. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's, like, super changed. You wish to speak? I love that he's just, like... Still With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. My eyes are up here. Not that I mind. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. Hey, let's make sure. Yep, yep, yep. Is this mine? Is this technically mine? Like, who's supposed to sleep here? I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put the music box over here. I'm gonna say this is mine. This is my room. Ah, <gasps> guys, look. Oh, I'll be so sad, though, if I come back and it's not here. Ink pot and a quill. Could I stack books? Doesn't look like the books are stacking. Haha, <laughs> dang it. But like I said, I would really like a shelf. Uh, it looks like, I, I don't know, some people are saying that the items will maybe stay on the ground. Um, and other people are saying they won't. So I will just put them in the chest. I do love that very much. Well, I guess I'll go to bed. Oh! <gasps> the owlbear baby! Oh my hungry! I'll feed you. Our food? Hell yeah, everybody approves. I wouldn't keep I wouldn't keep anybody Don't around. Bite. Don't bite me. Go ahead. <laughs> Food. Eat more. Um, it could be problematic. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh come here, you doll. 
No. Run. Oh. Also, you can't pet it, Carlac. You scared it off. Poor little beaky fella. Hope he finds his way back. I hope so too. I didn't know that. I thought they would just show up. Maybe we gotta feed it a few times. <sighs> I think so. Also, Carla can't pet it. She'd burn it. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea where this darkness spell came. I tried to look at it. I tried to look in like the, the spell book stuff. Like I tried to look up. Like, where I, do I get it because I'm a drow or what? But, like, I don't think I picked darkness. But maybe I did? I don't know. Anyway. I am... Oh, my gosh. Scratch. Don't... Don't play with Asteria and stuff. He'll bite you, and then I'll have to kill him. I do need to do some organizing of my inventory because once again I'm somehow full up. I don't know how this happens. I need to find a shopkeeper. Not even. I'm like I'm so tired, so I can't really think. But the only shopkeeper I could really think of in this area was the Grove guy. Oh, the Druid's probably actually still there. Now that I think about it. And we should go check up on the Grove too. Honestly, see so yeah, how they're doing. I am worried about Kaga. I think we should have killed her. I think she's just going to cause trouble later. But my paladin couldn't do that. I could have had Asterion do it again. <laughs> Poor guy. He's just like, I'm like, I can't do it because I'm a paladin. And then I stare meaningfully at him. And he's like, oh, I guess it's me then. <laughs> so I think I will go ahead and head out for now. And we'll go ahead and call it there. I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, uh, but it was reaching the end of my gaming cycle for that particular uh, time period. <laughs> um, and uh, it is currently 5 a.m. And I'm just trying to get this video done and uploaded for you guys, so there's not much more I can add to it from the next episode, but the next ones will be longer, as per usual. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all of my patrons, including my acorns, uh, Adam and Fane. Thank you so much for your support. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, who has supported me for a long time and who I really appreciate. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron. Really, it's just the nicest person, honestly, like truly. And like, thank you so much for all your comments. I feel like I don't do enough. For anybody who supports me, <laughs> but you most of all, I guess. Um, but no, I appreciate your kindness, and I appreciate everyone's kindness just being along for the ride with me. And I'm gonna drink my my tea now, and hopefully wake up a little bit. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.